Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Raylin bringing you another preview for a new MMORPG that's soon to be coming out. This is Black Desert Online, or just Black Desert. It's been on the radar for a while now, last few years. It came out in 2014 in Korea, and it's been doing fairly well, although not as good as I think the developers hoped. Uh, it's being done by Pearl Abyss and brought, being brought out here in North America and in Europe on March 3rd. Uh, they're getting ready to do their second closed beta test starting on February 18th and going through that weekend. So if you want to get in on that and just to check it out, you can buy a founder pack and that gives you instant access or you can sign up and hope that you get in. Uh, the game looks amazingly great. Uh, that is one of the main selling points, as you can see here just from the trailer. These are in-game graphics, and it is a very beautiful game. It's probably one of the most beautiful MMORPGs on the market, and it's Pearl Abyss's own uh, Pearl Abyss Black Desert engine that they made because they didn't think any other engine could put up with the strain of having such good graphics and keeping the lag and the latency down. So they just made their own engine and this is what they came up with. It's very, very nice looking. And another selling point is that the character creator for Black Desert is one of the most complicatedly awesome uh, that any MMO has ever had. And yes, you can make a wizard that looks surprisingly close to Gandalf the Grey or Gandalf the Bluish Black White here, as you can see. Looks amazingly good. And you have several classes. Uh, these classes are gender specific, as you can see. Uh, if I wanted to use the ranger here, I have to make a semi-elf, elven looking girl. So if that's something that's uh, a turn off, uh, I'm sure as the game progresses, uh, they'll add more and more classes that uh, are mirror images of each other. You have a sorceress and we have a wizard because the wizard is male, but they play very, very different. Uh, the character creator here, as you can see, it gets very complicated. You can start with all the presets, but then you can go even more complicated from the presets to where you can grab literally just pieces of the hair, the eyebrows, the cheeks, the lips, uh, the neck, the shoulders, and basically tweak every little teeny tiny thing to your heart's desire. I would expect things take several several hours uh, to get your character you can actually go to the website and download a little program that will let you make a character offline that you can then upload to the game once it goes live so that you can spend weeks up until the release trying to get your character exactly right and then once the game starts you can instantly upload the look straight into the game which is an awesome little feature just because I know a lot of people hate spending hours and hours on the character creation screen before they can actually just get in and try the game out. And as you can see, you start off and the game gives you a pretty good tutorial just on how to move around, attack, dash, everything that an MMO basically has pretty standard. Uh, you can see that the game looks really good and even though I just was trying to make a quick character here that kind of looked like Storm a little bit with red hair, uh, you can see that the graphics are just really amazing. And there's a lot of other nice features that I just won't have time to uh, hint on right now. But uh, you can see there's a parkour kind of system. If you get close to something like a wall or a ledge, your character generally climbs up and over it as opposed to just running smack into it like they don't know what to do. Uh, there's a lot of parkour elements when you're talking to people as you're running by. You can actually stumble into them, knock them down, or they can knock you down if it's something that's actually big enough. The gameplay is like a cross between Terra Online with its sort of semi third person, first person aiming where you don't have an auto attack and you don't have a lock on system. And another game called Vindictus where you use combinations of your mouse plus keys to do special attacks. Uh, that works out pretty well in this game, but one of the main complaints about this game is that it is very, very easy. It's just too easy for some people because uh, you can mainly use your left and right mouse button attacks, as you can watch me here, and just kind of mow everything down. Nothing really takes a lot of skill or effort to kill, uh, and even though, yes, this is low level, I just literally started the game on this character. Uh, it doesn't necessarily get much harder as the game progresses, which is one of the main complaints uh, that players have had about playing this game. Another thing is that even though the combat system is really flashy, it's really fun. Again, it does not take a lot of effort. 
you can put some skills down on your skill bar at the bottom of the screen but you cannot use any kind of modifier keys i mean modifier keys like using shift plus a button at the bottom of the screen or alt or control uh, these are kind of a standard sort of MMO staple that you want to have as many keys and access to as many keys and buttons as you can. I use a Naga mouse, so at the tip of my thumb I have 12 keys, but I can't even assign two of my keys, the 11 and the 12 key, to any button because the game just doesn't recognize it. I also can't use shift plus any of those keys to immediately double how many keys I can use. So I'm hoping that they'll add that as a function to the game because even though you can just use your left and right mouse to spam through most of the earlier levels. If they make the game harder and you're going to have to start using your key combinations with your skills, you're going to end up with a lot of skills and not enough keys to use them because you wouldn't be able to use any modifiers. Uh, you can use the skills at the bottom of your screen, and if you use them on a hotkey, it actually makes them cost more of your resource and gives it a longer cooldown than if you use the key combination. A key combination for this game is that everyone sort of has a standard Q, E, and F skill. And then you use the Q, E, and F keys in combination with your left mouse and right mouse to perform special attacks or special skills. Uh, you can use the A and D keys while using your left and right mouse button to strafe around things and perform different attacks that are a little bit uh, better as far as hitting for AoE damage, for example. So you can see I'm just kind of left mousing my way to victory. My right mouse is uh, her doing her little uh, fireball, rapid fire, Dragon Ball Zeus right here. You see it going off. And then eventually I can use some skills tied to that with a little kick that knocks them down and then uh, go back to just spamming left mouse button. You level up fairly quick. You can see in just a very short time I've already hit level 8. But as I said, the combat... Uh, is kind of simplistic. Uh, a lot of people are going to compare this game to Blade and Soul, and Blade and Soul's combat is the heart and soul of that game. It really does make a difference on how well you uh, do in the game based on how your reactions are with the class and how each class is extremely different in the gameplay department. So far, uh, I used three different classes in black desert and they all can kind of do the same thing you can see here i'm just spamming left while holding the a and d keys to do massive amounts of damage and just mow down things taking very little damage in return you also don't have a holy trinity in black desert so no tank healer dps everyone is basically dps so how do you heal well it's a pot spammer kind of mmo uh, you can use the pots to heal yourself, and you can use it anywhere, in PvP or in PvE, and that is generally how you heal, so potions are the main staple. It kind of reminds me of uh, another game called Ragnarok Online, where you just used to uh, put 400 potions on your action key, and you wade into battle and just heal yourself, and that's how you would level. Uh, I heard that they're going to try to make a few changes to the potions to make it less spammy, and make it a little bit more engaging where you have to worry more about your health but uh, we'll see how that pans out uh, the PvP in this game and the PvE in this game the PvE there is no PvE in game I'm hoping that Pearl Biz is really gonna change that because in the West if there is nothing to do at in game people aren't gonna stick with your game and PvE right now there's no instances there's no anything really there's a couple of world bosses here and there at the higher levels but that's pretty much it there's no dungeons there's no raids there's just nothing uh, the pvp is in a similar boat there is no pvp arenas there are no uh 3v3s or 5v5s there's no battlegrounds it's basically open world pk all the time uh, i don't know if it's something that you can turn on and off or if you're just flagged depending on the zone that you're in but from what i've read and have seen in a few other videos it looks like once you get to a certain level you're just free for all for anybody who wants to kick your ass whether they're massively out leveling you or not uh, it doesn't matter they can kill you and you can kill them but just like in any other MMO if you're too low level you're not gonna stand a chance uh, Pearl Abyss is definitely looking into the fact that people tend to be assholes when they're online and thus they're looking to make sure that uh, if you're at level 15, you don't have a level 40 coming down and griefing you all day by killing you repeatedly 
where you can do absolutely nothing against them. So they're looking into making changes to that and adding more uh, content for both PvE and PvP in-game. Uh, how far they go will probably just depend on how initially successful the game is because uh, all of that stuff's going to take time because the game isn't doing that well in the East, in Korea and in Japan and in Russia just because it just doesn't have much about the gameplay. It's kind of spammy and there's not much to be said about it other than a lot of people just think that it's just way too easy. So at the end of the day, it is easy and there are advantages to that because you don't have to learn complex strings. You don't have to worry about countering uh, at very specific times, like say in Blade and Soul. You don't have to worry about gearing up in certain ways. You don't have to worry about fighting, uh, tweaking and min-maxing your stats as much. It's just a very easy MMO to kind of get into play when you only have a certain amount of time and then get out. But I'm hoping that a lot of those gripes for, from a lot of people will uh, go away once the game officially releases in the West, in NA and in EU, because I think the game has a lot of very, very good potential, and I'm hoping it gets met later on with uh, the gameplay to go with it. There's supposedly a lot of good things at the end game as far as crafting goes, because you can breed horses and sell those to players or use them for yourself. So there is a crafting system, and it's supposed to be one of the better crafting systems out there. But if that's the only thing that you have at the end game, I don't think people are going to stick around. So that is all on this video. This is just a preview of Black Desert. Comes out on March 3rd. If you're interested in getting a, a head start on that, you can head to blackdesertonline.com and pick up a founder pack, which gets you a bunch of extra stuff, uh, items and things like potions and extra uh, mounts that you can start off the game with so it's a pretty good deal but uh, if you're if you're not interested this is going to be a buy to play mmo sort of like guild wars 2 you have to buy in a little bit and then it's free to play after that so it's not technically a full-on free to play mmorpg unfortunately if that's what you're looking for you might have to go to blade and soul which is a totally free to play online mmorpg and that is all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, i give you a nice little preview here. If you did enjoy it, please click the like button down below. It really helps out the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please click down at the bottom of your screen and subscribe. And uh, that'll give you some updates when I do more updates on Blade and Soul, Armored Warfare especially, and now maybe some Black Desert coming up here in March. That's all i got for you, people. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time.